You know, I think I think the thing about mental resilience is it's not only to be used in sport or, or, or in the workplace, but in, in life in general. I think the key th I think the key thing ab about mental resilience is just having that positive attitude in order to get stuff done. I mean, we are going to face challenges along the way in terms of everything we do. And if, if you're being mentally resilient, then you're going to be able to overcome those challenges. So, you know, in the workplace, we face challenges on a daily basis, whether they're, the, whether they're internal or, or external. So, for me, it is about staying positive and um, getting the job done. Mental resilience gives you the capability to be able to achieve what you want to achieve, that vision that, you, that you've set out to achieve. Whereas emotional intelligence is having a, an understanding of how you affect uh, the, the people around you and how you respond to that. One of my favourite things is that um, wartime poster, keep calm and carry it on. Let take time out of the high pressure environment to evaluate whether what you're doing is correct or not. If you know it to be correct, then get back in the mix, keep calm and keep going. I think what we're seeing here is, a, is an end to an Olympic Games uh, that produce a fantastic two week spectacle and then uh, have white elephant facilities and no legacy after. I think that the way that Lokog and London 2012 have approached a legacy for these games is, is fantastic and I think we are developing a blueprint that the IOC are going to follow on, on future games. Uh, the, the cultural impact, uh, the impact on lo local communities um, around Great Britain and also around the rest of the world has already been huge. There's thousands of projects going on around London 2012 and I think the legacy is going to be a great one. We're going to see a fantastic uptake of children getting involved in sports all over the country and in addition to that um, we, we're going to see major business opportunities both at home and abroad that, that we haven't seen before and culturally there are a lot of events taking on as well. So I'm, I'm proud of the legacy that this Olympic Games is going to have and it's also going to have a really high uh, impetus in terms of the effect that it's having on Paralympic sports. I think this will be a truly, um, truly well-delivered Paralympic Games, just as good if not better than the Olympics.